This? Oh no, uh, B149. Oh. Uh, that's in the email anyway. I'll, I'll send it in red the next day. So what we do is do Gauss, uh, do Gauss Jordan elimination for this until it looks, in other words, we do Gauss Jordan elimination across the length six rows. And if you want at the end, you see your answer, if you multiply it by A, you, you should get this. If you want to check your answer, that's how you check your answer. Okay, so we're going to get one, zero, zero. Now, what I would say is um, probably doing one row operation per frame is too slow. To understand? So if you do row two minus twice row one, a whole new frame box, then do row, that's too slow. Um, maybe not in the test, but in the exam, no. You want to do as many as you can at the time. So, one, zero, zero. We can do that in this goal. So, you're going to do row two sent to itself. What is it going to be? Minus two. Minus twice. R1. R1. And row three sent to itself minus R1. R1. Yeah. Now, you can kind of mess around a little bit if you want. But if you've never seen me mess around slightly different things you can do, but they're only going to confuse us. It is possible to mess this up if you, if you don't use the pivot. It is possible to use the one to turn the two into a zero and then the two to turn that into a zero. And if you do that, you're going to end up with a row of zeros. It's like your man and or Ted was it. We ran the gas off, the electricity, and electricity off. It does, that doesn't work. Right. <laughs> You'll just end up messing up. So, let's see again. First row is fine for now. One, zero, eight. <coughs> one, zero, zero. 2 minus twice 1 is equal to 2 minus 2 is 0. 5 minus twice 0 is equal to 5 minus 0 is 5. 3 minus twice 8 is equal to 3 minus 16 is minus 13. 0 minus twice 2 is minus 2. 1 minus twice 0 is 1. 0 minus twice 0 is 0. The other one. 1, row 3 minus row 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. 3 minus 8 is minus 5. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. So get the 1, 0, 0 all in one go. Now, you see, it's probably hard to write two row operations here. But it wouldn't be the worst in the world to one of them for the 5 turning into 1 and another for the 2 into 0. But if you kind of get used to it, you'll see that you can do it. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Do you always go to the, to the 5 slot first now? Yeah. You, you don't do anything else? You, okay, you, 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 you make 5 or 1 first. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll, what's the alternatives? What are you thinking? Are you thinking about the 2? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I might fuck it up if I go in the other direction. No, don't go anywhere else. <laughs> no, go oh, yes. divided by five. Yeah. See there, that there's a, another suggestion there, and it, it'll work. And there, there can be shortcuts. You could do row two minus twice row three. I'm not recommending them. I recommend you multiply and divide. It's got one zero eight. One zero zero. Now, um, you, you, I, I'm quite happy to have you have halves, thirds, fifths. If you get into master stuff, you've probably made a mistake, but you should probably keep going because you probably you know the way you won't see the mistake. Uh, that's what I would advise. Maybe when you finish the other questions, you can come back and see can you find the error. Okay, so zero divided by five is zero. Five divided by five is one. Minus 13 divided by 5. What's minus divided by plus? Minus. minus. So it's minus 13 over 5. Minus 2 divided by 5. Minus, again, it's minus 5. It's minus, so minus 2 fifths. 1 divided by 5 is 1 fifth. I haven't really given myself much room here. 0 divided by 5 is 0. Now, if you do that one, now you see, uh, now you can attack the 2 using this 1. How am I going to do it? Minus R0. Row 3 sent to itself, minus twice, and I'm going to write just for myself the new row 2. And 
I suppose it is possible to get a little bit confused here, but I suppose that's the tricky part about it. What's so twice the row you've just written down, Jamie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 0 minus twice 0 is equal to 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 minus twice 1 is equal to 2 minus 2 is 0. Minus 5 minus twice that. Now again, maybe into the calculator with that, it's going to be 1 fifth. Now, break that, see that line there, the row 3 is twice the new row 2. Could you now write that down in the new row, the side of the new row 2? You could if you're on 2003 in that um, Minus 1. Minus twice, uh, minus two fifths, that's going to be minus one plus four fifths, that's going to be minus a fifth. Yep. Yeah. Zero minus twice a fifth is minus two fifths, and one minus twice zero is one. So a little bit messy, a little bit tricky calculator, not a bad idea. I, I would, I think if you are going to use a calculator, it's probably a good idea to scribble the thing down, you know, so scribble down, uh, say, uh, where were we, minus 5 minus twice by that. I think that's a good idea. Minus 1 minus twice by that. Okay, I want to turn, there's two good answers to this. I want to turn the fifth into a 1. Multiply by 5. If you want, you could divide by a fifth, it, it'll work. Uh, you'll be going into your calculator really though, but uh, multiplying by 5 is what you want to do. And we'll do that first. Thank you. Uh, zero by five is zero. Zero by five is zero. A fifth by five is one. Minus a fifth by five is minus one. Minus two fifths by five is minus two. And one by five is five. Attack the minus two fifths. <coughs> oh, minus Thank you. How am I going to attack? I've been, I've been, I'm working on my own research later. Multiply by thirteen. Multiply by five off thirteen. That'll ruin your one. Yes. You want to add thirteen fifths. So add thirteen fifths times the new row three. So this plus 13 fifths of this. Okay. So I have 0 plus 13 fifths times 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 13 fifths of 0 is equal to um, 1 plus 0 is 1. Minus 13 fifths plus 13 fifths times 1 is minus 13 fifths <coughs> plus 13 fifths is 0. I think I've got to uh, the board myself on there. So. <laughs> I have minus two fifths and plus thirteen fifths times minus one. So that's going to end up being minus fifteen over three in a calculator, or five. That's going to be minus three. Okay. Next one will probably be a little easier. Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> Plus 13 fifths of minus 2. So that's going to be um, minus 5 on the calculator. And the last one is easy, thank thankfully. 0 plus 13 fifths of 5. Uh, 13 fifths of 5 is 13, so it's 0 plus 13 is 13. Can I kill that 8? Hopefully. Yeah, minus 8 times new row 3. So I have 1 minus 8 times 0 is 1. 0 minus 8 times 0 is 0. 8 minus 8 times 1 is 8 minus 8 is 0. 1 minus 8 times minus 1 is 1 plus 8 is 9. 0 minus 8 times minus 2 is 0 plus 16, which is 16. And 0 minus 8 times 5 is 0 minus 40, which is minus 40. 
Have we anything else to do as regards Gauss and Roll stuff? We're finished. So this here is the inverse. So your answer is this. Answer A inverse equal to this. You multiply that by the original and you should get the identity. So if you want to check your answer, you multiply this by the original thing and you should get the identity. You should get 1. And that's your 1 for 3 by 3 matrices. Okay. Now the way this is... Uh, Sorry, Jeffrey, how did you work out? It was easier to work out again. Uh, get rid of the minus 13 over 5. Okay, so the way you need to think, is the way you're thinking is, if you want it to be a zero, you need to add 13 over 5. Yeah. Now you can't add 13 over 5, but you can use a pivot to do it. I mean, if you look oh, the whole way... Oh, it's sorry, I was thinking it was a fifth. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's the new one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there, there is probably an argument, like, there's probably an argument that, okay, do these two in the same frame, then maybe just do the divided by 5, and then it might make this a little bit easier. You'll definitely time the test to take your time a little more. Okay. About 30 marks worth. So this would be a third of it. So you'll probably have three or four questions. You, the time won't finish it. Shouldn't finish it. What is it now? Well, I'm not too concerned about the time. I mean, if you're all running terribly bad. I <laughs> so the, que like the questions aren't going to be taken from, but this is just giving you an idea of the length. These are all probably the different types of questions I can ask. There's about eight, more or less, and we've got 30 marks worth about from this. Okay. Now, one of the questions, there's going to be a 14 mark question. That's kind of two questions. It's not going to be that one anyway. Okay. Um, using row reduction or otherwise, find this inverse. So. You've got, you've two methods. You can find that inverse using, writing that and the identity and doing row operations until you get the identity on the left. But there's a much easier way. What's the alternative for getting the inverse of a two by two? Formula. formula, yeah. And the formula, if you need it, will be on the front of the test. One over rights minus lefts. Swap the, swap the, the rights and change the sign on the lefts. So I can just find the inverse of that 2 by 2 just using uh, the formula. <coughs> so now I don't have to, I shouldn't have to really, let me just do a little red. So your a is minus 2, your b is 4, your c is 6 and your d is minus 1 and we're just using this formula here. So I guess uh, 1 over a by d minus b by c and d minus b minus c and finally a. <coughs> and we'll uh, hide that up. So I have uh, minus 1 by minus 2 is 2, minus uh, 24, and I'm just going to leave it as 1 over minus 22 by this. If you want, you can multiply in the minus 1, but you don't have to, so I'll leave it. <coughs> You can multiply in the 1 over minus 22 altogether if you want, but I'm perfectly happy with that. That is the inverse of 8. So I'm saying if you want, you can multiply that by that, and that, and that, and that. Hence, so hence means using that to solve this matrix equation. So for the matrix equation, we're going to write it slightly differently. So, well, we're just going to label it a little bit. So we've got minus 2, 4, 6, minus 1 times x, y, 
equal to 16 minus 10. I think the way we've been writing these is a x equal to b. Now the thing I'm writing in blue, there will be marks for that, but if you don't do it and you get it right, it doesn't matter. But again, like, uh, or I reckon if you don't, people who don't solve this, kind of don't do this next bit, are less likely to get the answer right. So we've got this little matrix equation, ax equal to b, our aim is to find x and y. So we want to get x on its own. How do you get rid of that a? Multiply by a inverse. So say of ax equal to b. Now I can't just say multiply by a inverse. That's be a little more specific, don't I? Multiply the whole a, that's true as well. I'm gonna, if I'm multiplying the left, I'm going to have to, if I'm multiplying this by inverse, I'm going to have to multiply this by inverse. It's still so a little bit on the left hand side. Yeah. So multiply both sides by inverse on the left. If you multiply on the right, uh, well, for a start, it won't work, but if A, X, A inverse, you can't, A, A inverse can't attack A. Here it can. And you have A inverse times A is basically 1, 1 times X is X. So yeah, x is a inverse b. So what we're looking for is a inverse, which we know, times b, which we know. And this is where uh, you might have to do some matrix multiplication, so it wasn't a waste of time. So I have x equal to a inverse, let's write it again, a inverse times b. a inverse is, I'm taking a, uh, this yoke here, 1 over minus 22, minus 1, minus 4, minus 6, minus 2, times b, which is 16 minus 10. There is no difference between square brackets and round brackets. <coughs> I'll go a little, well, nearly finished. We're going to go a little longer then. You can see. So um, now what you should do for multiplying these, you should look at the sizes. Or what size? This constant can stay out there for the moment. What size is this? And what size is this? Two by one. Can you multiply these together? Yes. And you're going to end up with a two by one. So I'm going to fix the uh, one over minus twenty-two and set up a two by one. So set up a thing with two rows and one column. So row one, row two, and a single column. So that's uh, well set up. And now you just go through each cell, there's only two cells here, and you say what row, what column? What row and what, what row is this? Uh, row what column? Uh, so you're gonna do row one by column one. So it's gonna be row one by column one. Minus one by 16 plus as such minus 4, well, 5 minus 10. So one below, what row is this? What column? Two. Row 2, column 1. So you do row 2 by column 1. Minus 6 by 16 plus minus 2 by minus 10. Can you take it as golden rule that let's say two and one then on the outside of either one gives you the actual row and Yes, okay. absolutely, 100%. Okay. So say we end up here, I'm a bit worried about the numbers anyway. Uh, so we're getting one over minus 22, uh, minus four by 10 is um, 40. Minus 16 <coughs> is, uh, what's say, 24. And then the other one is 20 minus uh, 32, which is minus 12. The, the numbers are, there's nothing that says the numbers have to be nice, but they are a little on the monkey side. Now, we should multiply this in to get x and y, because this x is x and y, so we, you need to multiply this guy in. So you get 1 over minus 22 by 24. So 
So that will be, uh, well, we just multiply them. You go into your calculator, you get minus 12 over 11. And the other one, you got minus 12 by 1 over minus 22. So it will be, go into your calculator again, you're going to get 6 over 11. KP, where did you get 12? Uh, calculator, 24 divided by 22, divided above and below by 2, you get 12 over 11. Uh, I'll just write something up here on the board. Be careful, um, if you have something like, these would be nicer numbers, say one third, six, nine, it's not one by six and three by eight. Yeah, and then four is minus six, 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 minus six. Oh yeah, yeah, multiply that in. Okay. Yeah. So when you have this scenario, the third multiplies the six and the nine. Now uh, we should, it's a, it's a good thing to do in the test really to check your answer. The question might even say check your answer, it doesn't. Um, it's probably, to check it, you probably need to write it out as minus 2x plus 4y equals 16 and 6x minus y is equal to minus 10. Uh, I'm slightly concerned, I'm just going to uh, just check it myself. So if you minus 2x, so minus 